31 years old from Santo Domingo in Dominican Republic. Dennis Mendez as well, who was in Athens 2004, who Olympian. went on to become a world champion. So some good fighters coming out of Dominican Republic over the last decade. How much ambition he's going to show. And about your brother, about Callum, that being a potential fight that he could take. The names there, you've mentioned the potential fights that are happening and the fights that are already made in that division. Canelo, it, it, it automatically becomes the glamour division because he is there and he is, he is the star of boxing at the moment. But Lenin Castillo, light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Bebo. Everybody's out. They're having a clean match, okay. Good luck, God bless you. Title for Dimitri Bivol. Champion will be installed as regular champion. That's what the WBA like to do. To call one. Second against eighth. Really only letting go with the jabs at the moment. Slip right hand there from Bivol. Just following the two fighters, Bivol. Jabbing high, shooting low. Good little right hand there. Just, just sneak through from Castillo. This is a bit of old corner led by Gennady Masianov. He has got a bit of snap in it as well, I, I agree. He's fallen short there with that right hand again. And it's, it's taken away from the power of his right hand and the right hand. Down to the body the way he's been doing. There's the counter. Jose Bonilla giving the advice there to Lennon Castillo. Castillo is a couple back 40. He's, he's waiting, he's been switched on. Keeps setting the traps that he's trying to set. Then you can see him, he's gone back down to the body, but he'll go to the head first, then down to the body. Castillo he, looks, he looks like he can count at any time and put a base. In, in the black and silver, as mentioned, this is a voluntary defence. The mindset here for Bivol Paul is, is interesting. The moment, it's got a lot of pressure on to look good. So for Castillo, for... For Bivol just caught Castillo. Just looking a little bit more ambitious at the end of the round. Tall. Staying out of range, always looking dangerous with those counters like that, but a, a good jab. Right hand from Bivol there, just over the top of the jab from Castillo. Didn't land really hard. He's in range for it, often. And it, it, it looks a good jab as well. And Castillo looking for that right hand, Bivol firing back with his, and these two just letting their hands go here. This one has 30 seconds of round five. Castillo's beginning to fancy this a bit more. Oh, which Castillo. Pressure is all on Bivol to look good. Good right hand there from Bivol. From Bivol and Castillo's legs just knees and over he goes. He was just trying to be more ambitious himself there. And as we said in the previous round, go go, not getting too carried away with yourself. Another one. He's showing more ambition in this fight than he did against Marcus. Until this point, looking to land the hook there. Jab and then a left hook after the good little left hook landed inside there from Bivol. Just as Castillo was trying to work the body on the inside himself, and when he does, he does tend to come forward a, a bit tall. Stated. The most important thing is to. And Canelo in. Kovalev at the start of November. Again, if I'm, if I'm Castillo, I want to be thrown at the same time as Bivol. You'd have more chance. Oh, looking to try and open up a little bit there, but he got caught by a left hand. 
just takes a little break. Castillo just stepping forward there. Falling short there with the counter, Castillo. Oh, good stuff from Bivol. It's moving in behind that high guard there, Castillo. And as I said earlier in the fight, he's always threat, and he has looked to step in and, and do some damage at times. Comes back after that fight against Sergei Kovalev not that long ago, and a very good... Gritty performance that night. It was a couple of punches away from getting the win, which was absolutely been. sensational. Important now that he builds Not on the that. same Kovalev that we, we've all been used to over the years. But then again, talking about Kovalev saying the 10 weeks will actually be a, a help because we Two, just get three, three, four times. Right hand got through there from Bivol. Haven't seen that happen. Today from Bivol. Not much power in it, didn't have any effect on Castillo. But... Right hand. Up. So into the 11th, a couple left here. Dimitri Bivol, the defending WBA. Like Henry Luttry was in March last year, so we we'll find himself elevated to super champion. Pascal, the interim He's champion weight division. That hasn't proved to be the case. Right hand there from Castillo. The round. There hasn't even been a close round in this fight. And most people three up. The ball with the way the legs kind of stiffened and, and he looked absolutely like he knew where he was and what was what was going on. Could he have been a bit more Rushing ruthless? straight away and go gun call and let all them shots go. So you know you can't have the best of both worlds. Uh, I think a very very composed and disciplined display from Bivol. And it's been the same from Castillo, really. It, it's one of those sitters who has been chosen by him and by his team. No, I, I, to I totally agree. And I, as we've said, you know, ultimately... We... ...something sizable to really get his... I totally agree. And we, we've said at the moment, those fights are tied up. But... ...to lead off with a left hand there. Caught a right hand on his way in, Castillo. And winning every single one of these rounds, especially with the knockdown. And that happens... Inside the final minute. And again there, just falling in behind it, but sailing past. Right hand from Castillo, just slips over the shoulder of Bivol, who looks to let it. It's difficult to think of around that. Well, Castillo's got through the top. Dimitri Bivol. So Dimitri Bivol gets.